Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am so excited that you clicked on this video. Today's video is in collaboration with Fancy and I can't wait to tell you all about them. Okay guys, so not only is this mirror beautiful because it's so sleek, I love it so much. So it also has three different light settings. The first one is soft white and it says it mimics nighttime settings. There's neutral white, which is like the perfect selfie lighting. And then there's natural daylight, which mimics being outside. So that's what you choose, I guess, like whenever you decide what you're doing your makeup like. If you're going to be out all day, then you're going to want to use the natural daylight, things like that. It also tilts and rotates. How amazing is that? It's run by USB or batteries which is even more amazing because you could take it in the car and like you'll see today, I'm doing my makeup in my dining room. It also has a tray on the bottom that you could put like your earrings or whatever you want in that little tray, which is a nice bonus. And it also comes with this 15 times magnifier that just suctions right to it. Great for doing eyebrows. They also gave me a coupon code, guys, and it gets you 20% off. Just use the code AshleyK20. Okay, guys, so just to tell you a little bit more about Fancy before we get started, because they are an amazing company. They are female founded and they specialize in LED lighted makeup mirrors to eliminate bad beauty lighting, AKA BBL. <laughs> so if you don't know what bad beauty lighting is, I will tell you. So there's all kinds of different bad beauty lighting and I'm sure that you knew it was a thing because you obviously know if you put your makeup on in like natural light or something like that, then it always looks better. So bad beauty lighting could be keeping you from covering up a blemish. It could be making you over bronze your face. So whenever you go outside, you're like, whoo, when you look in the mirror. So these are things this mirror is going to help you overcome and help you eliminate um, having um, bad makeup from your bad beauty lighting. So from my experience, I'm sure you guys have all experienced it too, but I did my makeup in my bathroom that has zero natural light, it has no windows, and the um, bulbs are very warm. I did my makeup, I went outside, and you pull down your car mirror, and you're like, holy cow. Nothing was blended. I had blemishes that I was like, I swear my face looked flawless before I left the house. This mirror, I'm telling you guys, the lights, you can adjust to which setting you're going to be out all day. You can use, there's a setting for that. If you are going to be inside, there's a setting for that. Like literally, it makes your application of your makeup flawless. And that's what we all want. Nobody wants to go outside and flip their car mirror down and be like, what the heck is on my face? <laughs> and like I said before, you can take this mirror with you since it is battery operated or USB and it comes directly off the base. You can stick it in your luggage, you can stick it in your bag, you can use it in a hotel because hotels have the worst lighting ever. So if you want more information about Fancy, I'll link them below. I'm telling you, you will love this mirror, love the light, love this company. So today's video, as you probably saw in the description, is my everyday makeup routine. And this isn't every day. As a mom, I don't go out every day, but when I do, this is what I do. It takes me under 10 minutes every time. Super simple, everything's drugstore. And if you use this mirror, which is amazing, like look at this light. I'm not using a ring light. This isn't stage lights. This is that fancy light. Um, then you can do your makeup anywhere. Literally, you can take it in the car. It has a USB port, you can plug it in. <laughs> um, it's just amazing. So I'm really excited to share my makeup routine with you. So if you wanna see it, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is start with a clean face and I always put my sunscreen on. I suffer from melasma, if you don't know. So the sun, any kind of like heat, but mainly the sun will bring it out, make it darker, new spots will appear, blah, blah, blah. And it's just good for your skin. So put some sunscreen on. So I have my face already. If you wanna see how I do my skincare routine, I can definitely make that video for you. I've gotten 
really into a routine now um, and I feel confident in my skin. So if that's something you wanna see, please let me know because I can definitely make that for you. But makeup today, everyday makeup, being a mom, doing it fast, doing it wherever you can. So today I am doing my makeup on my dining room table. So this is my dining room, welcome. Um, my daughter is actually napping right now, but this is a daily thing. I bring my mirror out, I sit it on the dining room table, I can watch her, she can watch TV, she can run around, I can be right here doing my makeup, seeing her. So that's the my favorite part about this mirror is that it literally can go anywhere and as you can see, it has the best light. Hey, I'm obsessed. So, okay, enough talking, let's get into it. So what I love to do is I have like combination skin and I really like the matte look, but it can really dry out my skin, especially coming like this time of year when it starts to get cold outside. So I always use the Pro Glow. Now what you're thinking, you're using a glow and you wanted a matte, but I kind of counter do it so I, Use the matte, I mean use the glow, but then I use a matte setting powder and it kind of like makes them mesh together well. So I'm gonna put this on. I always use my Real Technique sponge. It's just, it's my ride or die. So and I seriously just apply it to my face like this. Cause I used to apply it to my fingers and I think that was contributing a lot to my acne, but I don't know. So then I'm just gonna blend it in. And a little tip, I always blend into my ears, especially when my hair is up. And I also blend it down onto my neck. All right, so now for concealer, I have tried so many different ones and I always always go back to the Instant Age Wine, re Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. Um, it's just, it's my ride or die. Seriously, it never does me wrong. So, um, just gonna, I just put a little under my eyes and then I do up here, like to highlight. Everything I do with the concealer is basically to highlight. Nothing really, like I don't have really bad bags under my eyes. I just like, I like to be bright. So then I put some on my nose and then I also bring it down like around like my frown line area. Um, I just, I don't know, just like everywhere you want it to be bright is where I put it. And I actually like to leave this sit for a couple minutes. So um, I just feel like it sticks better and then it blends out better. We're ready. So I'm going to use the flat part of my beauty sponge. I take my air spun powder and this is just the loose face powder. It's not in any color, um, but I like to use a sponge for this as well, but I use a dry sponge. I also use a brush, but I start with a sponge. So what I do is I, I dip it in there. I kind of bake, I guess, but I, it's not really long. And then I have it on my sponge and then I kind of just like sit it on all the places that I just concealed. that like bake on. I don't really let it sit. I just let it sit enough time for me to get my brush, which I'm absolutely loving. I'm totally obsessed with these fancy brushes. Um, they're amazing, guys. Um, you thought the mirror was amazing? These are just as amazing. I'm not really like, I've never used a brush for foundation. I'm just like scared. I, cause I literally tried it once and it was just not a good look, but these brushes, they're where it's at. I'm gonna use the blush brush because I don't wear blush and it's just the right like consistency I like for my powder. So what I then do is while this is all sitting, this is sitting way longer than I usually ever let it sit, but then I go in to the powder 
and I brush off what I already had, but then I go over everything else because um, I notice if you go over with a translucent powder, when you go to put your bronzer on, it just makes it um, so it's not going to uh, be blotchy. Um, Cause nobody wants a blotchy face. I take the big fluffy brush and I do my bronzer. And this bronzer is, I don't, I don't even think you can read it. It's by Rimmel, um, it's really cheap and it doesn't have shimmeries in it. I don't like to use bronzer with shimmer. It just, it doesn't look real to me. I think it looks, I, I like to look like I don't really have makeup on. So I don't like to use shimmer. So that's why I like this one. But I'm just gonna take some on my fluffy brush, tap it off, and then I start on my cheeks in like a circular motion like where I would contour, just a little larger of an area. So then when I get to my jawline, I like to uh, go along it to kind of carve it out a little bit. Like I said, I don't like to do the extreme contour, but I do like to have like a, like a structured face. And then sometimes even if I find that like this area is all too bright compared to the bronzer, then I just lightly do one coat over top to just like tone it down. So the next thing that I do, which I think literally makes my whole look, like I feel incomplete without it, is my highlighter. And I'm not like a crazy, I don't want you to like see me from across the street gleaming everywhere, but I just feel like it makes me feel so youthful and like such a fresh face once I put it on. I don't go crazy with it, but I just feel like it really makes my skin look super glowy and that's what I love. So, <laughs> this is embarrassing. This is the one that I use. It's by Wet n Wild. I lost the lid. I will try to find it and link it below. Um, but just take it on my brush and I, highlight my face and I like to bring it up here and on the top of my cheekbones. And also in the corners of my eyes because I feel like it really brightens me up. And I don't, I'm not an eyeshadow kind of girl so it just makes me feel a little bit more done up. And when I look down here it's because I'm looking in um, the mirror if you didn't know. But once I have that done, then I move on to my eyebrows. And <laughs> I used to be a die-hard Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow, that was my thing, hardcore. Um, but for the past probably like year, I would say, I have transitioned into something so basic <laughs> that I don't even know. I bought it, I saw a YouTuber use it as lip liner um, and I loved it so I bought it and I, I've used it for lip liner for a really long time. Ran out of my Beverly Hills the one day and I tried it as a brow pencil because it technically, that's what it sold as and I love it guys. It's the Maybelline pencil, like you have to sharpen it. It's, <laughs> it's just an eyebrow pencil like by itself. A brow pencil like the original the OG um, but I love it so what I do getting close and personal is I um, brush my eyebrows up like I said I haven't had them done in a really long time so they're bushy I brush them up I like the fluffy look so while they're brushed up is when I color them in and then I kind of tame them a little bit. So then once I have my brows done, that's basically it. So what I do next is curl my eyelashes and if you know me, you know that I wear my magnetic lashes if I'm going anywhere. So curl my lashes and then I put this L'Oreal Telescopic. This is my OG. I love this stuff on and then I put my magnetic lashes on. I 
also have been super into lip scents again, and this one's my favorite right now. It's Pink Champagne. I've literally been wearing it every day for like a couple months. It's my favorite, and I just, being a mom, it's just nice that it stays on. You don't have to worry about it. All right, guys, so that's my complete everyday makeup look. Um, it usually takes me between five and eight minutes, to be honest, but talking and explaining stuff to you took a little bit longer, but that's just what I do. It's super simple. Everything is drugstore. And if you have a mirror like this one, you can literally do your makeup in the living room while you watch your child, which is amazing. So if you're new, please make sure to subscribe. We'd love to have you be part of the family. And make sure if you like this video to give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like videos like this. And please make sure to check the description bar for the light and I will link everything that I use down there so that you can do this look if you enjoyed it. So we will see you next time guys, bye.